Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Hey, my brother, real quick, real quick. Okay, okay, okay. How you doing, sister? How you doing? What's your name, sis? Go. What's your name? Dora. Give me that name, man. You know what I want, right? Dora. How you doing? My name is Gabriel. So you want to know, according to the Bible, how to get the kingdom of God, right? All right, so we're going to show you, thus said the Lord. There, the problem is with Christianity, they, they, they say to get to the heaven, you got to pay your tithes, come to church worship, praise God, just believe, just confess, and then you already saved. The Bible don't say that. So we're going to open the Bible and find out how do you get the kingdom of God. All right? Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do? that I may have eternal life. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So, sis, listen very carefully. We're going to show you out of the Bible how to get the kingdom of God. How to get eternal life. Because the kingdom of God is only for you. It's for the so-called black and Hispanic and native Indian man. It's not for everybody. All right, you see this sign right here? It's for those 12 tribes. So we finish it. You read it again from the top. Verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So he said there is none good but one. He was talking about the Father. Read on. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, stop. The same question you just asked, how do I get the kingdom, right? This is the same thing Christ is telling them. If you want the kingdom of God, if you want eternal life, this is what you must do. Read. Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. The Bible says, says, if you want the kingdom of God, you got to keep the commandments of God. The commandments is written through the whole Bible. The problem is with our people, we have fell away with that. So I'm going to show you some commandments One that more. you can keep. Revelation 22 and 14. Give me that to as well. I'm going to show you some commandments that you must keep, all right, as being a woman in the Bible. All right? You get that? Read that. Because church is not teaching our people that. Have you been to church in your life, sis? How long have you been to church? Because I went to, like, several different churches. Some people been in church for years, years to they 50, 60, 70 years old. Some till they die in the church. Every Sunday they are in church, right? And they still don't have a clue to get the kingdom of God. Right. Because the pastors have failed us. There's not teaching us, thus said the Lord. But the Bible said we must keep the commandments of God. Read that. This, this is the book of Revelations. Come on chapter here, 22, man. verse 14. What's your name? Blessed are they that do his commandments. So the Bible says, sis, pay attention. You hear that, brother? The Bible says, blessed is they that man or woman will be blessed if they do what? Read on. Blessed are they that do his commandment. That do what? Do his commandment. No, the man or woman that talks about it. Do his commandment. The Bible says, blessed is that man or woman that do the commandments of God. That applies them. That keep them. That's how God is going to bless you. Now I got a question to ask you. Was that it? Read on. That they may have the right to the tree of life. So that's how you're going to get the kingdom. Keeping God's commandments. So I got a question to ask it's you, some sis. More. It's some more now. Read on. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Oh, you see that? 
That's how you're going to get into the new kingdom. Because the kingdom of God is coming on earth. That's right. Christians have taught us that we are going to heaven and floating around in heaven. No, the kingdom of God is going to be on earth. Right. And only the ones, the Israelite man and woman, that's keeping the laws of God is going to get in through those gates. That's right. But if you're not keeping the laws, if you're found in sin, you're not going to make it. So do you know what sin is according to the Bible? Give me that in John 3 and 4. We're going to show you. Because you say you've been to church. But why the pastor have not taught you what sin is? Sister in the car, do you know what sin is according to the Bible? What is sin, sis? What is sin according to the Bible? What she say? She said anything ungodly. Anything ungodly. You are absolutely right. So we finna show you according to the Bible what sin is. How you doing, sister? Okay, okay. All praises be to the Lord. That's what we need. So I'm gonna deal with her. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Okay, read that. This is the book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. The pastors are not teaching our people that sin is breaking the laws of God which is the things God commands us not to do. So when you go against those and you do them, you in the midst of sin. You see how easy it is? It's not hard. But the pastors in these churches are not teaching our people the things they need to know, right? They actually teach that the laws of God is done away with. And that's not biblical. That is not in the Bible. So when you commit sin, you are transgressing the laws of God. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So when you commit sin, it is your transgression the laws of God. Because God only dealing with a certain nation of people, and it's the Israelites, the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Indians. That's God right. gave us rules to follow things to do and things not to do. Right? So, sister, it's gonna apply to you too. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. So before we read this, sis, I want you to come over and look at this sign real quick. Come over real quick. Take a look at this sign. Where do you see yourself on there? Where do you see yourself on that sign? Make sure you read it very carefully. Where do you see yourself on that? What is that? What is your father? What is your father? Is he a so-called black man? So then you a, you a, you a Jew. You a Jew, you a Jew, all right? So the God gave the real Jews, not the Jewish people, those imitators, the God gave the real Jews laws and statutes and commandments, right? right? And this is one law that pertains to you, you sisters in the car. This is a law of the Bible that pertains to you. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you woman, right? You woman, you woman in the car. The Bible says a woman should not wear which pertaineth unto a man. Now, what do we got on that you got on and you got on? Say it again. You got to get this on the mic. Come on, you can't be. <laughs> say it. You said pants. The sister said pants. That's right. She said pants. Woman not supposed to be wearing pants according to the Bible. That's yeah. right. You got to go. Sis, call us the back of that flyer. There is a number. Hold on, sis. I'm not done with you yet. Hold on. You got to hear the rest of this verse before you leave. Read it from the top. The woman. Hey, my brother, what the heck? Come here, bro. Come here, come here, come here. Real quick, real quick. I want to show you something. Five minutes with you, bro. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what's going on here? God got a dress code for the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian men. God says a woman should not wear what a man is wearing, and a man should not be putting on what a woman wears. So if pants is made for men, what is made for a woman? A what? So why is these rap artists making it famous to put on a dress? Why? Why is that going on when the Bible condemns it? Absolutely. So when women wearing pants, what spirit goes on the woman? A masculine spirit. That's why a lot of these women walk around today like they would just beat the crap out 
stops you because the pants they wear it, it puts the spirit behind that. That's why God, God is not a home of confusion. He don't like confusion. And that is confusion. When a woman is wearing pants and a man, hey, my brother, how you doing? Real quick, I want to show you something. My brother in the green. My brother in the green. So, you see what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be wearing pants according to the Bible. Because when you do that, sis, what are you causing the men around you to do? To lust after you. Your body, your shape is supposed to be for your husband. Yeah. Not every man to see. Okay. All right? So, sis, what are you going to do? After you just read in the Bible, what are you going to do from now on? Wear a dress. So next time we see you out here, you're going to have a dress on, right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.